Hello and welcome to video number 16 of our web developing tutorials with PHP. In this video we're going to create a form that will allow us to insert data into our database table that we have. And to get started on that let's go to our index page here on the body. Let's create a form with a method of post and an action is set to blank. We want it to refer to this form itself. If we wanted to pass this data on to another form we would put that that PHP file name here but since we're just going to pass it right back to this page we'll just leave it blank and we're going to add a name field to this and have an input of type equals so the input type equals text I have a text field with an ID of this is going to be our name that we're going to add to it remember our table has a name field and it's got a name parameter is going to be name again. We're going to end our input field and we're going to add a break to the end of the line. We're also going to put an age. Input type equals text. ID equals age. Name equals age. In the input, put another line break and we're going to put an input of type equals submit and the value which is what's going to show up on that button is going to be add and we're done with our form we save that we look at our page now and we have we still list the items that are on that in that in that table now we have a form at the top of the page that will allow us to add more fields to it and more records so let's go back over here and in our header we're going to check to see uh, since this header is loaded every time that the index page is loaded, then we're going to check and see if is set post name. If our post name field is set, then we're going to set a variable name equal to the post name. And we're going to have an age equal to the post age. In addition to that, we're going to create a query, and we're just going to name it Q. Let's just put that sign there. This query is going to be insert into user, to, and we're just going to add the name and age field in our SQL, the values, and instead of just putting in the variable, we're going to put a, a colon name and a colon age. And these are pretty much just place values. Uh, PDO can prepare that statement and get rid of any SQL injection that might occur in the process. So this is going to be the end of our query. Next we're going to actually say query equals and we're going to say ODB prepare and then our query statement. So this is going to prepare that statement and then we're going to say results equals the query, the prepared statement executed with these parameters and then we're going, have, we're going to pass it an array of parameters and this array of parameters is going to fill in this name and this age placeholder so we need to put these in the right order as they appear in the SQL statement so colon name is going to point to our name variable and colon age is going to point to our age variable and so that's done so what this does is it checks to see if we've got a post if our posted form has some values in it if it does it's going to put those valuable on those values into variables that we can easily work with without addressing the post variable directly and we're creating a SQL statement but we're using these placeholder values instead of actually pulling in the values that we got off our form because from by doing this we can allow PDO to manage this form data and make sure that it doesn't have any SQL injections and things like that any bad data coming in will be escaped by using this prepare statement so we're preparing this query and then we are querying we're executing the query using these values in place of the placeholders so if we go back to our page refresh this 
Okay, and we actually put in a value, we'll put Tom as age is 45, and once we add that, you can see that it's this value, this being pulled from our database, if we look at our database again, in the user table, we now have that Tom value in here with the age of 45. We can do another one, just to show you how it's pull, putting that in there, Jane, and she's 19, and it's pulling that data from the database again over here. So now we're adding values to our database through a simple form. And that's how you you can add values to a database. In the next video we'll create a login form and let you log in uh, and we'll display the user that's logged in. Uh, we'll have to modify our tables a little bit to do this but I just want to show you this. This is how you can insert data into the table and use a prepared statement with PDO which is comes in handy keeps some of the SQL injection problems from happening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch the next one. We'll do a little bit more with, with PDO and forms. Please subscribe.